can see, we've gotten the fan up off of the nut using this, which is uh, open to a 36 millimeter. And we've got a fan clutch wrench to hold it. So we've done that. Now, I'm gonna start taking all this stuff off. That was our main thing. So we're placing this. So yeah. Y'all know how to get that off. If not, every video on any car, the fan belt is all the same. So that's why I didn't show that being taken off. Number two. How long do you have this tool for? As long as I need it. Make that one out and that one back there I showed y'all earlier. See down there, that actually 
actually goes right up on here. Connects this right here, this housing to that housing. But we gonna just take this housing. So we took that off. Hopefully we can do that once we move it. But that gives us that screw and the one underneath it. So once you get that clip off, you get these bolts out, just in that clip back there I was talking about, then you can pull this whole thing off. And as you can see, that's what we got. Me, I like to not unhook unnecessary shit. Some shit is not unhooked. So as you see, that's not unhooked from there. I'm just gonna go and move that like so. Now we can actually work on this and that. I mean this. So we need this big bitch here, you dig? Stick him in the pulley right there. Push him down towards this way. That'll loosen the belt. We can take the belt off. I just took out the, the tens that were on here. So now this should come off. Like so. Voila. Then that will give us the access to the other bolts we need. So once you get them bolts out, take Big Daddy once again. Oh, this one is a smaller one. At least we think so, matter of fact. We did not inspect this for damage. Just being that it's plastic, y'all. not the problem so this is the new joint let's see we got a hole there hole there hole there hole there and a hole down at the bottom those are the five screws that you're going to take out of there and put into here 
the new bag with the new gasket and some gasket grease sealer. This here is the clip that hold the housing onto where you see that red ring. Make sure you keep that, don't break that. Now we gotta get these bolts out. I'll show you which ones we're talking about. Show you what we got. Uh, See, so I put each one back in where it goes. We on that last one up there. Got my makeshift catchers. It was leaking. Well, we got the new boy on. Got a gasket seal on there. That's that blue line y'all seeing. We dig. Now we just gotta put on the fan, put on a thermostat housing, put on a, uh, um, what was this called? A, a something head, I forget. Yeah, put that back on and we die. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's finished product, everything put back together. You know, fan on, new pump in. Big, brand new. Show y'all this boy running, shall we? It has been, um, I'd have had this done probably about like a week now. No cap. We got to take this part off of the video. So let's go start her up, shall we? Don't mind those lights. I got aftermarket tires on, so my air light always on don't mind that squeal either I don't know why it always sounds like that when it first starts we'll stop here in a second it's my first start up for the day Oh, 
something else we got to figure out. Sort of stop, sort of but not. 